Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Fusion 360 again. We're actually going to be talking about rendering and the different options that Fusion 360 provides, which honestly I'm pretty impressed with for how cheap of a program it is, um, and in some cases how being free. Um, but there are some hangups that I'm, I'm personally not very keen on, so we'll just go over those real briefly. So in Fusion 360, I have this breastplate that I modeled up. Probably not the best program to model this kind of stuff, but I did it anyways. And we're going to go to render. All right, so in the render um, space, I guess you can call it, uh, you have a few different changes. Obviously, you can see the lighting changed up. Uh, we also have some renders on save. And so I, I've rendered one already, and you can actually continue to render, and it'll kind of pull up these little tabs for you to see. Um, all the renders you've done in this session, if you will. So we actually have three options, two of them built in. One of them is a plugin that I, I personally have, but I'll talk a little bit about that. So if you're in Canvas Render, so this is really nice. All of these are already up here. I honestly don't understand why these drop downs because they're practically all up on top anyways. But you have in Canvas Render, um, you also have Render, which can use some of your computer processing, but it could also use the cloud processing. And then below that, you see I have a Keyshot render. That is a plugin because I have Keyshot. Um, if you have other programs that are compatible with Fusion 360, that is where you'll be able to access them. Um, that or you just save the file separately and upload them to that program. So in Canvas render, we'll actually just start off with the in Canvas settings. I like being able to open this up and still be able to render at the same time, which is pretty cool. So you have two tabs, you have a fast and you have an advanced. You're not gonna really see any difference because with this uh, part, just because it is a simpler part in terms of materials. It's a single material. Uh, but let's say we did something like a fire truck, all sorts of different materials on there, different parts, it's a big model. Uh, you definitely notice more differences. But so with the fast, and with the advanced, we have our limit resolution, which is 20% to 100%. Again, I don't really like this either because uh, it doesn't really mean much to me. Uh, lower quality, higher quality. I, I think most of us are always going to have a higher quality or want a higher quality, but that's all right. They also do have this lock view. This is a really, really nice feature. I actually like a lot. Um, so right now I can move this part around really easy. Uh, but once I actually cl click render in canvas render i can't move it around in fact i'll move my my face real quick and you'll see there's a little so as i try moving this around i get this little notation saying view is locked which is really nice because every time you move it while you're rendering it's going to have to reset and restart so that's a nice little feature that they added in there i, I do actually appreciate that in fact i'll leave my face out of the way for a little bit so you can see right here that this is just ongoing on ongoing and the iterations just gradually go up we're at 26 27 28 um but it's not really getting any better you get to a certain point where there's just not really any any more quality you can get out of it so let's say this is where i want it i'll just click this pause button and then i can click right here capture image i can ch uh, click in some settings but in this case it's pretty limited and actually it's all locked up so we'll just click ok and we'll save it we can either save it here or we can save it onto our computer. Um, so it's really nice. You can save it into your Fusion 360 account. Um, let's actually go back and continue that render. But we're going to go back to the advanced settings. I like the advanced settings. I personally never use the fast settings, only use the advanced. And that is because right down here, it's really nice to be able to choose how far you want to go. Uh, for me, this is the resolution where I'm, I'm going to be tinkering with resolution, not here. Personally, that's just preference. Um, and it's nice because I can click and drag this and say, I want it to be a final resolution or something that'll look high quality. Or let's say I just want to go for it and just go infinite, which is pretty much functions very much similar to the fast, which is the iterations just continue on and on and on until I get to what I like. And you can see once I pass that final, I have this like green tab that's just continually going. All right, so that is in Canvas Render. Render is pretty cool. There's a lot more um, settings you can choose in terms of the image that you're outputting, uh, which is really, really nice. So you can 
be focusing on rendering for the web, for mobile, print, video, custom. Awesome. That is really, really nice because these are going to be giving you your resolutions. Uh, it's going to be giving you your aspect ratios and your and exposure is pretty much the same. But that's really nice, especially if you're wanting to do something for social media or if you're trying to do something for a project in school or for work. It gives you a lot of options. So we're just going to stick with the customs because all of these are pretty much the same except just different ratios and, and whatnot. Um, so in the custom, yep, you can choose just the exact same as all these tabs or you can actually just custom add these in. Custom ratios, same sort of dealio. Exposure, they only have the native, the native exposure here and then file format. You can choose JPEG, TIG, TIFF, sorry, TIFF or PNG as well as with nice with PNGs you can put that transparent background. I think you can do the same with the TIFF as well. I'm not quite sure about a JPEG. Yeah, okay. So yeah, TIFF and PNG, you can get that transparent background. All right, so rendering, processing, how are you doing that? So if you're doing a local render, that's awesome. If you have a powerful enough computer, great, awesome. If you're modeling, though, and on all reality, you probably have a powerful enough computer. Um, the cloud render nice thing about the cloud render is you can render and you're not using your computer's processing it's all going onto the cloud um, so you can continue working on other renders or on other modeling you can jump on a video game do whatever you want that's going to be taking up your computer's processing or video card or whatever um, but they have credits and so you and you have to pay for credits um, they used to have it that once you signed up for Fusion 360, you acquired X amount of credits, and it was like 10 credits. I'm not sure if they still do that anymore, um, but that is a huge downside. And then render quality, you can also choose standard or final. Um, yeah. So if you go to the local, though, you can get some more advanced settings, and you can actually get like a draft render, standard, final, excellent. But again, that's going to be using your computer's processing rather than the cloud. And that is it. That is all of the different options you have for Fusion 360. I'm not again. I'm not going to go over the the key shot option. Oops, sorry. Um, but those are the two built-in uh, options for rendering in Fusion 360. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button. I'd really like to hear some comments down there, especially if this has been something that's been helpful. If there's questions you have and things that I may or might not, may not have covered, or even just I don't know, things you liked about it. I'd, I'd really love to hear from you. I've really enjoyed the comments I've been able to get in the last few weeks. Um, other than that, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Keep modeling.